that's true and you know uh, like you said initially you were not very much into web and i hear a lot of people working with java c or c plus c plus yeah. plus like the core programming languages they, they say that they don't consider web developers as software developers they say that you know i can just create a website from wix or you know from other platforms and i don't uh, front end developers don't actually work on logic when i think it's actually the quite the contrary like front end developers if you're actually working with angular or react there's quite a lot of typescript or javascript code that you have to write and you have to have you know good programming knowledge otherwise it's very easy to mess up a uh, front end uh, website where you are actually interacting with the back end a lot uh, what do you think about that Absolutely. First of all, I, you have to acknowledge that there's a lot of idealism in the software engineering industry, and so people will follow the shiny orb of whatever it is, and they'll stay close to that. And anything that's not that is like less. Um, my answer to those people: they should do state management on the front end for a very large uh, application and see how hard it is. It's 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 pretty hard. Um, but I also think that that opinion. Um, you know, the market has changed. There's a lot of, there's a flood of, you know, uh, web developers that, that don't have fun, uh, fundamental and foundational knowledge. And um, I think that that has kind of created an, an environment where, you know, backend devs that have to genuinely worry about scaling in, in many different ways, um, look at front end uh, or web devs as, you know, maybe they don't have to, maybe that's like an infrastructure domain or something like that. So. Yeah, that's that's a good point, and uh, you, you're absolutely right on that. State management itself, like I remember uh, when I was working for a home automation company, but it was more on the web part. I think Kritika and I both were working on that, and uh, so I was initially I was more involved with Angular, and uh, let's say there's a building and there are 500 devices in that building, it, they mm -hmm. can be thermostats or walls. Just managing, changing temperature of those 500 thermostats. If you don't have a good uh, data handling on the front end, there's absolutely no way that the front end website could, you know, even work without lags. Because there's yeah. so many API calls you're making every uh, every mm -hmm. few seconds, and then the socket, the back end is updating the let's say the temperature on a device. So you have to have to know when to actually change uh, or save the new information in your uh, yeah. in your data. So definitely, it's a uh, it's definitely very important.